We're Scott and Ashley, and this is our dog, Tank. We're a British and American couple who have been traveling the world together and soaking in as many adventures as possible. We're currently converting this, an American school bus, into our own unique home on wheels while traveling all over to other unique homes. Our message is simple, to pollinate kindness and spread the message to be kind. We last left you as we were pretty much playing the real life Super Mario and plumbing out the whole bus. We installed our skylight while also getting the roof prepped to install solar. And guess what? Today is that day. The future of honey is looking really bright. Oh, this is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go. This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go. So got all our panels out. Um, we actually have eight panels, each with a hundred watts, so there'll be eight panels up on the roof. And right now, we're about to go up on the roof just to kind of look at the measuring between the ribs and decide the best way to mount them all. I need to go on the roof. Never mind. We don't need to go on the roof because we can see the ribs in here. 29. So center to center of rib. It's 28 and a half, but we want to hit these flanges on the side. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, that's 28 and a half. So we're going to start putting on the Z brackets on the panels and then uh, jumping up on the roof and marking out uh, where we're going to put them. It's going to be a bright day. That was terrible. You can do better than that. Things are charging charge no things are starting to charge <laughs> <laughs> that's what i was going for so new to us. Before we got the bus, we pretty much had no real concept of solar other than our mini portable device that charges our phones. So this has been a real learning curve for us and we are just so grateful for friends that are patient enough to actually teach us. Okay guys, so we're actually going to run to Home Depot, get some uh, washers and bolts and stuff for what we need to put the panels on tomorrow. Um, Today just kind of became a, a brainstorming planning session, and we feel like we have um, a good idea. Right, Alex? <whistles> Alex says, right. <laughs> Alex wrote these doodles, and it all made sense to him, so <laughs> it makes sense to me. <laughs> okay, guys, it is another day working on the bus, and it is a beautiful day today. Um, perfect day to be working on solar. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we, you saw just a second ago that we kind of uh, mapped out a plan as to where all the solar panels gonna go, how we're gonna hook it up, and now we're gonna actually go ahead and start mounting them. Uh, we don't have everything yet, like the batteries in burn and all that stuff, but again, uh, we just wanted to get everything mounted on the roof so then that way we can take care of the ceiling and like kind of seal all that up and, and get that taken care of. Because um, the reason why we've been waiting on all that is because um, uh, we want to be able to have access uh, to the roof in order to uh, fall everything down and secure everything from the inside. Uh, so once we do all that, um, and then hopefully build a deck, um, all that will be taken care of, um, and we can start to seal up the ceiling. Um, but yeah, so right now we're going to go jump on the roof and start um, attaching those solar panels. Assembled. 
Okay, I'm so excited. I just finished work for the day. They're just about to start installing the solar. That means I get to be here for it and I can't wait. It is such an electrifying feeling. It really charges me up. <laughs> I'm excited. Just gonna grind off a rivet so the brackets sit flush. All now, day. is there a chance that sparks will damage it if it flies over here? That far, man. Did it actually get you? Yeah. Did it? Yeah. Are you kidding? No. Oh. 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 Look at my shield. Face. Yeah, that's your new shield. No. Oh my goodness. Alright, first panel, we're gonna lay it down, we're gonna mark the eight holes, and we're gonna drill through the roof and bolt it in. Alright, too easy. Okay, so we took out the, um, what is it called, like the, uh, the, this the light, light. Woo! <laughs> this light, we took out that light, <laughs> and, uh, and now there's like a hole where the light used to be, so we're just going to cut out a piece of sheet metal from where we took out the skylight, and just uh, cover that using this. Wonderful. Jamie's been slacking a little bit, taking a break, <laughs> eating ice cream, but you know, got him back to work eventually. As you're saying that with blue lips. <laughs> <laughs> you guys figure it out. <laughs> hey, you had some. Okay, so what's been the strategy though? Jamie's been risking his life doing balancing acts up here while I've been playing it safe underneath and screwing in the screws. So we've got all these little bolts, and so someone's got to be under, someone's got to be over, and make it happen. Dream team. Gotta go. Yeah. It's exciting. How are you? I was just saying, this is so nice having a team of five to do this. Like, come on. Makes it easy. Some of us can get snacks. Some of us can install the panels. Three of us can install the panels. The other two of us can get snacks. It's all about teamwork, baby. Okay, guys, we are working into the night. You can't see me right now because it's dark. But uh, Jamie gave me a headlamp. So now I can see what I'm doing. But we're actually just had to go to Lowe's and uh, we ran out of bolts and stuff. So we just have to uh, washers and bolts and then um, got those. So now we're about to put on the last panel. I'm just getting some butyl tape. My dad and brother-in-law just came by to see the bus. They wanted to see some of the updates and get a couple things that we were borrowing. <laughs> and yeah, today we are gonna, um, wait, what are we doing today? 
<laughs> okay, so if you didn't hear that, we're gonna connect the solar panels. Um, <laughs> had to make sure I understood what we were doing today. I get that. So um, yeah, today we are going to connect the solar panels. We couldn't finish filming the other night because it got crazy dark, the camera battery died, but all the panels are installed. Woo! And now we just need to connect them and then wire them. And yeah, we're going off the grid, baby. There's so much pollen and also not enough space for me on their roof. So I'm trying to climb Bessie, Kelson Jay's bus, to get shots, but this is proven to be difficult. So let's see. Oh, no, 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 he's following me. <laughs> okay, sorry. Don't know how I did this the other day. Never mind. It's too pollen y. I might slide and fall. Maybe I wouldn't. But the pollen is really slippery. Can you see how much pollen there is? Literally, we just cleaned these off for drone shots yesterday, and the pollen has already <laughs> resurfaced. Putting all our solar panels together. So, originally, I think we might have told you guys that we were looking at doing front and back because we were looking at having a deck here. But we decided that solar was more important, so we put all the solar back here. Thinking about doing a different deck down there, but we'll get to that another day. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to run, Alex, correct me if I'm wrong. We're running them in series, parallel, yep. and then in series, right? So we're running in series two by two by two. Yep. And those two, and then connecting the whole thing in parallel together. So essentially, well, these two panels make one giant panel. These two panels, one giant, these two, these two, and then that all runs in. Is that right? Yep. <laughs> I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. <laughs> Shimmies across the pants. Not not I'm surprised you're up there in flip flops, Scott. That is not safe. Wow, <laughs> no fear. Not at all. You just did a push up. I feel like your anxiety was due to them not being bolted, too. But that was probably like. Also, I'm the only one on the roof right now. Yeah. So you're I trust you feel... myself. I just don't trust anybody else. Don't trust me? No! Absolutely not. If you fell, it'd be the worst. Yeah, it'd be so exactly. sad. Yeah, but if you trust you, you can trust me. Babe, Ooh. I've seen you carry cups of teas. I've seen you <laughs> jump when I enter okay, the Okay, but who makes you the cups of tea that spill everywhere? And that's why he cares so much. Because he I loves you. Guys, I'm fine. I've never fallen off of a bus roof. I don't trust Yet. myself. Ever. No, never. Yep. I will never. Have you yes. ever heard of someone falling off of it? Like, I feel like you could kind of, like, get hurt. Too. Okay, so now that we have all our solar panels wired up, um, they're basically going to be running into the bus. And so we just created a hole, so then our wires will go into here, which then will go through a hole into the bus, which they'll then uh, they'll basically run down the ceiling right into our electrical closet, which is right here. So we go in here, and it's going to look like, look at that. <laughs> All right, how's it going? Five more minutes and you'll have solar. <laughs> this is so crazy. We turn on the lights, connect the batteries, and we're done. <clears throat> you make it sound really easy. <laughs> when we hit the road, right? <laughs> yeah, then yeah. we can hit the road. Oh. Not hitting the road tomorrow. <laughs> I wish that would be amazing. Moment of truth. I just don't want to blow up. And we want to see about 40 volts. 37.5. Yep. So good. That's good. Power, baby! So are these hot right now? Yep. So if I touch them? 37 volt is not enough to shock you. Okay, so now just sealing it up. Everything for the little plastic box thing is <laughs> good to go. The multimeter showed that we've got power. And yeah, just making it finalized.
Okay, so tonight we came to Durham and we went to Ponysaurus. Um, if you guys remember, we actually stayed in a tiny house in Durham and uh, the tiny house introduced us to Ponysaurus. And it quickly um, became your favorite like stout yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's where we came. So we're going to hang out here tonight, uh, play some games, get some food and just, yeah, chill. It's the weekend. So <laughs> it's almost the weekend. It's our weekend. It's Friday. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and Alex is very happy about our decision to come here, right? I mean, I always like to come to brewery, so... <laughs> Yay! Cheers! Cheers! Stepping into a bus conversion for the first time, you learn a lot. Scott always jokes that being from England, the first time that he ever stepped foot on a school bus was when he was actually buying one. And this project is huge, and there are some things that you just don't know. We are so thankful for all the Facebook groups, all the books out there, Instagram community, YouTube university, all of it, to learn all of this stuff. But most of all, we are thankful for friends who teach us the way, they support us, cheer us along every step of the way. That's what the Hive Drive bus is really all about. We're all about community. We don't have to know everything. We don't have to be the best at everything. Because we all have strengths, we all have weaknesses, and that's why we're always better together. To lift one another up, all for the good of the hive.